Hey guys, Betty Six here at Black Fox Knife Works. So in this video I wanted to show um, how to do taper tangs on the surface grinder attachment from us. So you can see on here I've got a knife blank and I want to taper the tang, let's say from the handle transition back. So what you're doing is you're taking an angle cut, so you want to get this line, your taper tang line, parallel with the wheel of the surface grinder because it's going to be a horizontal motion. And you just want to nip off that much. Usually I go a taper tang from here all the way back. Uh, makes a much shallower curve and it's kind of easier to do on the surface grinder. Let's just say you want to do it right here. So since this is wood, I want to show another track, a trick that you can do. Um, with a piece of just cut off that I have here. I think this is um, S35VN. Um, but with this piece of cut off, uh, you can glue it, hot glue it. It's an old woodworking trick that I learned and then you could use the surface grinder to do wood as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so now I've got the surface grinder. You've got two adjustments with it. One is at the pivot. So this is where you'll, you'll tighten your pivot point down. Um, one is back here at the tail stock, and uh, we've got a little adjustment screw, so this is a quarter 20 screw, so every inch it's going to turn 20 times, so every turn is 1 20th of an inch, and you could just dial in precisely how far you want to go and lock it down. Right now I'm not really using this, I just kind of want to, what I recommend when you're doing something like this is push the tail stock out as far as you go, take very, very shallow cuts, and as soon as you're starting nicking off that material, and you understand where your line is coming in here and here and try to match up that angle with your cut angle uh, that you want to do. So let's go ahead and get loaded in. And for this particular test I'm only able to use one magnet so this will be a good, good representation of showing you guys what one magnet force can hold. So I got this thing backed all the way out since it's wood on top of steel. Um, it's taking up a lot of room. I could move the wheel back another inch and a half, but it looks like uh, I will be able to get at least a somewhat good angle out of it. So let's go ahead and turn on and see what happens. First I'm going to undo the hot glue gun because I don't want any, anything getting into that. Alright, so I've got my pivot. I'm going to go ahead and lock it down. That way it's not moving on us as we start grinding. And I'm also going to lightly tighten the tailstock. Now, right away, you can see that that angle, I took a pretty big cut out of it, that angle is fairly parallel with that line. I think I could go a little bit steeper on this angle since I'm taking such a big cut out of this thick piece of wood um, to get there, but I think I'm just going to, for this demonstration, I'm just going to increase my depth of cut to bring this line up whilst keeping that same angle. So let's go ahead and do that.
check this out. So on here, let me break away these edges so it's a bit cleaner to see. You can see that I creeped up to the line. Got a nice good taper on it. Ended it right about where my handle junction is. And uh, that's looking pretty good for a, a little handle taper on there. Um, this is exaggerated, so when you do a knife that's a bit thinner stock than this, maybe you are using a thick stock. I usually like to use pretty thin stock. Um, you would have a more shallow of an angle because you're not taking as much off and make sure you're doing shallow cuts because what's, what you're really doing is you push it in it's really going to exaggerate that angle so you want to take barely any cuts on a, on a really thin piece of material so you can understand where your angle is at and uh, where you're going to end your handle then adjust your angle from there um, but that is how you do a tapered handle on the surface grinder let me know if you guys have any questions. I'd be happy to do uh, more videos on how to use the grinder and, and any of our uh, attachments.